Hello friends, how are you doing? In the video of today, we will learn together how to apply for Schengen visa for Portugal step by step. But before we start, please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and share this video at your social media. And if you have any question or inquiry, you can write it down there in the comment section or contact me directly at my Instagram. So right here in front of me, this is the Schengen visa application form. So let's check this application form together right here in the section this is for your personal picture this margin over here don't write anything in this margin because it is for the official use only now let's check the sections this part here uh, for your personal information started with your surname your surname at birth if exist your first name the date of birth Place of, place of birth, your country, your current nationality, male or female, and your civil status, if you are single, married, or whatever. You try to fill uh, this application form um, as full as uh, possible. Don't leave any detail uh, unless you don't have nothing to write. And here, um, some uh, parental authority, if you are a minor, or something if you have a national identity number please write it it is not um, uh, always necessary but if you have it please uh, write it the type of your travel uh, document is it an ordinary passport diplomatic passport in most cases it is just an ordinary passport but in general just choose the type of your travel document and here the number of your travel document the number of your passport the date of issue and valid until the expiry date and issued by which uh, country if you have any personal data of the family member who is in the european uh, union or in the schengen area you can write uh, you can fill this section number 17 if you don't have any relations with any person inside this area don't write anything uh, family relationship with uh, an eu this is also the same thing if applicable if you have any family uh, relationship uh, here also write it if you don't have it leave it uh, empty don't write anything uh, your home address and your email address write them here and your telephone number also write your telephone number here the residence in a country uh, if you are applying from a different country if you are now not in your home country and applying from another country then check yes if no then you are applying from your own country just check no and also your current occupation if you are self-employed if you have a job if you are unemployed if you are a student and here employer and uh, employer's address and telephone number if a student name and address of educational uh, establishment if you are uh, self-employed uh, uh, then write still right here that you are self-employed and your address and your phone uh, number as you already work for yourself and if you are the uh, business owner write here the name of your uh, business the address of your business tell the official phone number of your business here choose the purpose of your journey are you uh, traveling for tourism business visiting family or friends uh, cultural sport so just choose the reason that suits you more and here if you have any additional information on the purpose of stay please write it here if the, if you feel that you need to clarify uh, something for example you are going on a honeymoon with your uh with your uh, new wife or uh, if you are going to make some checks in uh, um, a special hospital there for medical reasons anything just write it here if you want to clarify and the member state of main uh, destination and other member states of destination if applicable so write the name of the Schengen country that you are entering and if there is any other country you are planning to visit along in your visit please uh, clarify it here a uh, maximum write to uh, countries if there and member state of first entry which is supposed to be 
the country you are applying for here the number of entries requested or do you want a single entry two entries multiple uh, entry depending on your um, needs and the intended date of arrival in the first intended stay in Schengen area your expected arrival date and your expected departure uh, date also and here we'll ask you also have you ever given any fingerprints previously for the purpose of applying for a Schengen visa if yes say yes and clarify where and uh, and when and if no then say no the entry permit for the final country of destination where applicable so this is a section if you are transiting in a Schengen country for example let's assume you are traveling to the United States of America and you are going uh, in a transit in, in in France for example so in Charlie de Gaulle uh, airport in France so if you need a transit visa and it, it it is dependent on your country for some countries they need a transit visa for other countries you don't need a transit uh, visa depending on your country and the situation and the, the relations with the European Union if you need a visa then you will have to apply for a transit visa for France for a Schengen transit visa so uh, you can uh, be able to proceed uh, your uh, trip to, to the United States but if you don't need you don't have to fill uh, this uh, section because it is where applicable but in general this is for translating uh, cases only uh, surname and first name of the inviting person in the member state if not uh, applicable name of the hotel or temporary accommodation if you are going to stay in a hotel please give the details of this hotel uh, the name of the hotel and also uh, the address and the email of the hotel and the telephone number of the hotel also uh, those parts the address and the telephone number are not really required but it is good to fill every a single part here the name and address of inviting company or organization if applicable because sometimes you are not you're just going going in tourism and you have already filled and you given um, the name of the hotel then you don't have to fill the section but if you are going in a conference or for educational reasons or invited by a company then you have to write the details here the cost of traveling and living during the applicants stay is covered you will choose either by yourself or by a sponsor host company or organization and also you will have to clarify the means of support is it cash or you will use also credit card or even both just to choose the option that suits you more and here this is the declaration part the self-declaration part and in the end you will have to write the place and the date of uh, this application and here also you will have to give your own signature in order to download the visa application form you can go to the visa information section over here and choose the visa type for example tourist visa and once you choose tourist visa here from download the form you can download all the visa forms from here easily so how to apply for this visa vfs global is the office responsible of processing and receiving applications for this visa what you need to do is in this section you need to choose your country where you are applying from if you're applying from india pakistan egypt or whatever your country is and in this section you need to uh, select the country you are applying for if you're applying for austria or belarus uh, bulgaria canada or whatever this country is and after uh, choosing your selection click here take me to the website once this page is open in front of you click here book now and then once again click book now and in the section you need to sign in this website and to choose uh, the place of the office inside your country and the perfect 
time that you need to submit all the documents for this visa speaking about the schengen visa fees the fees are 80 euros for adult and for children between 6 to 12 years of age the fees are 40 euros and of course you can uh, transfer this amount to your local uh, currency for example in usd dollars it equals to 87 now and if you want it also in indian rubies or in pakistani rubies or uh, in egyptian bound or in indonesian rubia or in turkish lira so uh, the fixed amount is the 80 uh, euros and it changes of course uh, depending on your country and uh, depending on the uh, exchange rate right now in this section we will speak about all the documents that you will need to apply for any visa but before we start please don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel share this video and if you have any question write it in the comment section down there or contact me at my account at instagram the first document that you will need is your passport make sure that your passport is valid for six months and at least two pages are empty for the stamps and your photo and your details in your passport are clear you will also need photocopies of your passport make sure that you have at least three photocopies and mainly they will ask for a photocopy for the data pages but sometimes the foot a photocopy of the stamps and the other visas in your passport will be required you will also need a personal picture make sure that your picture is new not older than six months and it's preferred that your picture be with a white background except if they tell you something else and your face details must be clear in your picture you will have to submit a visa application form it could be online or filled by computer then printed and signed or printed then filled manually then signed all depend on the kind of the visa you're applying for you will have also to submit a proof of status if you are an employee you will need to submit an hr letter signed from your company stating your position and your salary and all the details of your company if you are the business owner you need to provide all uh, the document that prove that you have your own business if you are a student then you will need to submit uh, an admission letter from your university if you are a minor you need a letter of permission from your parents and if you are jobless then you will need to uh, prove uh, your source of fund you will need to provide a proof of legal status only if you are applying from another country so if you are traveling as a tourist or visitor or working in another country then you will have to submit either a visa or uh, a residence permit in this country a proof of funds is also required it could be a bank statement and it should cover at least the last the last six months of your account and it should be signed and stamped from your bank you will be asked sometimes to submit a flight reservation and it should be a round trip and it could be either a confirmed ticket or a dummy ticket and i will teach you how to make both of them confirm a ticket and also a dummy ticket there are many websites that you can use for booking your flight uh, ticket and in this uh, video we will use kayak site of course there are many other sites uh, like skyscanner and you can also book directly from a flight company itself so here let's assume okay our flight is return so it's like round of flight and only for one adult and our decision from Cairo let's say to Karachi Pakistan and let's use the dates okay these dates are fine search and now the site is searching for the flights there are many expensive flights but we will try to find cheap one so we can see this flight okay click here for the cheapest this flight from Lethad is very cheap so we will need to view the details of this flight just click over view details okay and we will be directed to this website budget air 
where we will have to make our booking. Okay, I accept. This is a site, okay. I already used the flight, now I have to fill my details as the passenger. And this is the price in uh, the Emirate uh, Durham, but we already knew the price in US dollars. Here we need to fill our details, all our details, name, your name, date of birth, and whatever, whatever. Just as an example, I just want to show you how to make a booking using this random site. And okay, okay, we have to fill more details here in this section. Uh, you can pay more money. So uh, in case you want to cancel your your trip, you can uh, get full fund. Okay, passenger number, expiry date. Okay, that number. Okay, and then click next. Now here, my contact details. You need to fill your contact details. Okay, I have to fill these sections. Read. Address, line. Postal code, city. Email. Retype the email. And the phone number. Then next. Okay. And you can pay for your flight. Now we have uh, to choose again. Okay, this is the main price. Don't pay. I don't want to pay any extra money. You just choose it. They keep remind, uh, reminding you, do you want to pay extra money for uh, a full refund? And down there, I will choose my booking. I will choose the basic one because there is no extra charges. I'm just trying to find the cheapest way. And then click down there, no thanks. And then next. And right now I am in the section where I have to make my payment. First, check your details, my flight from here to there, my details. And in this section, you need to fill uh, your credit card or visa card number and to make your payment. Then the ticket will be sent uh, to you by your, uh, through your email. So for those who want to learn how to make a dummy ticket, not a confirmed ticket, you can use this uh, website, dummy ticket for making a dummy ticket. And the whole idea behind a dummy ticket that once you make uh, a booking, they buy the ticket for you with your details and they put it in on hold for 10 days or two weeks. And after that, your ticket will expire. So it is a real ticket, but it will expire after uh, a specific uh, period so you need to choose which ticket do you want uh, are you sure that you are going to travel then you make a confirmed ticket or are you still not sure and afraid that you will lose money so you make uh, a dummy ticket so right now to start making a dummy ticket I think we need to click over uh, buy ticket this icon And in this section, you have to choose the type of your ticket. Do you want this ticket for applying for visa? So we'll choose the first one, and the price will be 19 US dollars. And 
then down there we, you will have to start filling all your details your name your surname your date of birth and so on okay then uh, uh, your travel details okay your departure date okay it's around the trip so from which city to which city your departure date your return date and how you can also choose how you want to get this dummy ticket through email whatsapp or both of them and then you fill your billing details your personal details and down there you have to choose the way of paying for this ticket you can choose either paypal or debit and credit card just fill the details of your card and make your payment then you will receive your ticket uh, through either email or whatsapp a travel accommodation proof should also be provided sometimes it's asked to be confirmed sometimes it's okay to be an initial uh, booking uh, and sometimes some countries require you that this travel accommodation proof covers at least a third of your trip there are many websites for making a hotel booking but the most common website is booking.com you just need to choose your destination where to go uh, let's say Delhi New Delhi and then my check-in will be in these dates the first till the fifth for four nights and I want a place only for one adult all right done and start searching and you can see all the options down there and you can sort these options well, according to well, the price for example choosing the cheapest first so for example you can go for the cheapest prices first if you care about money and you can see many 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 cheap stuff uh, over here of course you can change the currency from Egyptian bound to use do uh, to US dollars uh, or any other uh, currency and you need also to check uh, like the rank of all these uh, rooms so let's say that I will choose this hotel just click over it and then this page will appear in front of you you can see pictures of the place where you are going to stay and they will tell you the other things like there is Wi-Fi uh, there is a shower uh, there is AC so just go down there and now you can choose this is the price for four nights uh, and you can pay this number for one person or uh, another number for two person so yeah it's considered to be a very cheap price for two people now you can just select a room and once you select the room you will you, you will just click over I will reserve that you want to reserve this room all right and here in this section you will start filling all your details your detail over here all your details your name uh, uh, why you are traveling the reason of your trip and then once you finish it you go down there okay and then click over final details and once you click over it you don't have to pay of course because the payment will be in the property but you will have to confirm your booking and then they will send you a copy of your booking uh, through your email some countries especially european countries require you to provide a travel insurance so it should be made from a verified office or platform and as i told you it's not always necessary and it should cover your whole trip and some countries require you to uh, submit a travel insurance that covers a year and it should cover at least uh, 30,000 euros and 
that doesn't mean that its price would be 30,000 euro but I will clarify uh, to you when I teach you right now how to make a travel insurance there are many websites to make a uh, travel insurance uh, we are going to use AXA Schengen website for making this travel uh, insurance uh, so once you uh, get to the website you have just to choose you're making an insurance for only one person okay and you need to use the, the dates from which day to which day and then get code and you then will find many options like there are we offer the first one that can cover for 30 uh, thousand euros this is the good one and this is the one which is required by European Union for uh, 62 euros so this one is is very good but there are also other options like the other one with 70 uh, it was 97 uh, euros and the other one for a full year for 30 for 328 uh, euros but uh, we will just go with uh, the first uh, option since it's uh, it, it is cheap and also uh, cover all uh, the essentials that we need right so just click over select and once you select it you get to this section where you will have to fill all your details and then click confirm and pay and once you click confirm and pay you will make your payment using your visa card visa card or mastercard and then you will receive this travel insurance through your email remember also that before applying for any visa you have to contact either the embassy or the application office and ask them if there is any extra documents required from you or is there is any uh, different documents or is there is any change in the visa application procedures because sometimes visa uh, procedure change from a country to another in the end please don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel and share this video at your social media accounts and if you have any question or inquiry please write it down there at the comment section or contact me at my instagram